YouTube and welcome back to me in Atlantis. Yeah, I actually had this recorded. I thought I did, but I forgot that A, my microphone wasn't plugged in because my microphone was not in reach of an outlet. And B, I had fraps turned off anyways. Well, the recording part, but this is my linear cannon. That's, that's my first cannon right over here. This is my first cannon. First can design. It sucked. Not the top part. Bomb parts good. <laughs> Sorry. Bomb parts horrible because inside it was all TNT and that the hole there is where the shell was. Version one of the cannon systems. And yeah, this will probably be a two-part video. Two-part su update series. This is prototype number two for reasons I can't explain really I hate cannons most of the time it's because this one destroyed all the redstone constantly no matter how high I put it even without water even with water sorry shouldn't but it does this is stupid this one linear cannons not my favorite because well I shall show it works, but this is what I hate. Look, it destroys the redstone. It shouldn't do that, but it does. So I refuse to use this model any farther. I actually had that one stacked quite a ways up, so it wasn't... Actually, I didn't have it stacked obsidian-wise. It was stacked normal stone-wise up. And this is the final product at the moment. This is the... Yamato prototype. Behold its wonder with the change block mod. Yay! Change block mod. It saves me so much time. See? Look! And pistons! They both work. And they both work together. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to change the change block ID block number because it's wrong. It conflicts with another mod I'm using actually. You'd be surprised how many mods I'm tapping right now. But, yeah, this one cannon system will be, is, is actually explained quite a while here. So, yeah, redstone wiring going to all the places that need it. I think in this video, I think I destroyed the top piston because I was demonstrating what would happen if the timing was off just a little bit. So yeah, in the final product, well, the Yamato prototype won't be continued onto the ship. That's a promise, because it won't work. If you, well, I'll explain that. Because it will look hideous on the Iora. The Iora is the name of the battle, the super battle ship that I am creating at the same time as an underwater city. Who knew? <laughs> okay. Yeah, originally it was just going to be a city that evolved into a ship that was going to be a carrier. Now it's a ba super battleship that no one has ventured into yet, I don't think. But, yeah. That change block there switches colors. That Oh, sorry, that's the source block, I do believe. This is, that's the change block right there. It's horrible. It uses the same... It uses the same type of block, the same block ID as the glowstone, ha glowstone stairs. So, that's why I need to change the block ID for that one. <coughs> sorry, my voice is raspy. It's, it's getting... Like I drank a bunch of syrup. But those chests next to it house all the TNT, which will save me lots of time reloading. The bottom piston right there will be built under the deck with the change block. The problem with this mod here is that the change block and the control block right there next to the button right there will be oh they have to be on the same level that's the only issue 
in the final version of this, which will be called the... What did I say? Oh yeah, Lohengrin IO Cannon. It'll be hosting two barrels instead of one, and it will be more inbuilt into the ship than what this model is. This is my hastily constructed cannon on top of a cannon. Because of the, you can notice, because, but because of all the obsidian, you can probably guess that I have had a few issues because I destroyed the cannon a couple of times. Mainly the pistons, not so much the base. I destroyed the base too, but the pistons more so. And they are, they're a bit resource costly and they take a little bit to make. So, make do with what I have. Anyways, let's see here. What did I say here? Oh yeah, um, that wall was made because the... Uh, if I don't make the wall, then when the TNT activates, it will just it will jump too much, which is a big pain. And yeah, this is me trying to test, trying to show you what happens when I test the don't test the can with sand. I actually real realize a problem later with what I'm doing. I remember now why I was having issues with that and it ate my sand. Ugh. I think I was eating and actually put all the sand in. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. Phone rang. So, yeah, I think I did put all my sand in. I'm using Invedit, so... I'm holding a lot of sand at the moment and I'm being... and this... these stones would not cooperate and actually place themselves correctly. And if memory serves, yeah, I lagged right here a little bit. Yay, I got the sand out of my hand for once. And I put the button on the wrong side of the stone. So I was thinking, hey, it'll transfer through like it should, instead of being a retard, like it usually does. Anyways, see, that has a one spot block space there because otherwise it'd push the TNT out of range. And then it'd explode on top of my can. That's how I destroyed it a quite a few times because I accidentally didn't have the change block system activated and it pushed the change block up and it screwed everything up. Or it pushed the TNT up without it actually detonating because the time was off. And I actually launched the sand right there and I didn't notice it. So... And here I switch back to TNT and actually destroy the cannon just for visualization of what well of what happens if I do that. But anyways Yeah, fun. Lots of and somehow I had sand in there. Or no, that had zero, sorry. I can't see because I'm doing a re recording of this. It sounded a lot better when I did it originally. Even though none of this is actually scripted, it's 100% just me talking about what I've been doing. And see, that's what happens. It destroys it. And it is a pain. It mostly destroys the redstone. Fortunately, it didn't destroy the pistons. I do believe this is the first video where I actually show me placing blocks. Huh. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, that's a 4-4 delay, which is 8 seconds, I think. 8 ticks. I'm not exactly sure, because it, it's a bit complicated in my head. So I had to keep, keep testing it with sand, more sand, more sand. Oh, hey, this one actually worked. And then I figured out, oh, crap, I have to raise it up, the piston up, to the correct height. The Not the bottom piston, piston there, but the top piston right here. That I'm going to build here quickly, showing in this video. Yeah, it it, it was a uh, fun few hours of screaming at the computer, and that's how you build a piston, like a like a minecart, except you have a piece of iron above it. Not as complicated as super sponges. 
I'll give it that. It's a lot better than Super Sponges in terms of how long it takes to actually put together. Not long, but still. And in order to make sure it places properly, I have to do this. Right click to make it face seal. I've seen a few cannons that operate on similar systems, but I have never seen don't think I've ever seen one that uses the change block and the piston system at the same time. So, yeah. This is where I realized that the that the button's on the wrong side of the block. <laughs> and yeah. I think I figured out that I I think I started using using a lever after after this when I delete the button. Actually, I didn't realize it until like a little bit here. <clears throat> this is me explaining the time amounts. That's a three four, and that's a four four, and that's a nothing. Cause that's just standard transmission. Thank you, repeaters, because that would be this can would be like three times this size. And here's where I realize, oh, why isn't that working? There's TNT in there. And then I shut it off, and here it legs, and I realize there's there's TNT right there. What? And I put it on now, and why isn't it working? There's what? There's just stand and launch. Nothing. Then I realize, hey, let's try this instead. Let's put a lever here. And I'm thinking, wait, no. No, I went, hmm. But, but, wait, no. Let's try a lever. On. Good. Off. Good. See? It works better now, because then I can fire it twice as fast. Almost twice as fast, anyways. I still have to deal with the... With the big time consumed by stepping on that block there. I think I can make the linear can work if I wanted to, but first I would need change blocks of different sizes. Well, there's three different sizes, I think, of change blocks. This is me making an ant gate. That's another mod that I have installed at the moment. Allows me to save lots of space by having redstone combined into simple one square gates. This is me demonstrating the gates, but um, for the linear cannon, I might be able to make it work, but I don't really want to deal with the linear cannons. They are not my favorite, favorite thing to work with. Because mainly it, they don't work all the time. An AND gate is just, it has to have both of those on. So, simple. And I think I was going to make an OR gate right there, but I forgot. Three buys are the ones that make OR gates. That's an OR gate. Three, three vertical. AND is three horizontal. And for NOR, NOR would be an OR gate plus a redstone torch above it. And an AND would be the same thing except with an AND gate. So, here's where I'm trying to think, why doesn't it place in any direction? Oh! Right click! Duh, Kevin! Yes, that's my first name, it's Kevin. It's, it's not originally Ganderfell. Yeah. Either one will activate the final piece. But, I'm not going to say my last name, don't try it. Anyways, um, for the linear cannon, I would have to, 